Hi guys, it's Mamie. I wanted to do a quick video for a July garden tour. First of all, I want to show you the trees and the rock that we put in this year. This was the big project of the year. There's a lot of bugs out right now, so you're going to see them flying in front of the camera. Um, we just put in a bunch of these arborvita trees along here, all the way down. And then we had a bunch of them down there, like five of them that we planted a few years ago, but we couldn't find them the same size. So we just went for the smaller size just to fill in, to have like a little bit of a wall with the neighbor. We get along great with our neighbors, don't get me wrong, but it's just nice to have a little bit of privacy. So hopefully they'll grow and then we'll have a nice little wall to separate our properties. And then up here, what I want to do eventually like right around here is I'm hoping Toddy and my brother-in-law will build me a little library box like those wooden libraries that people come and they can take a book and leave a book I thought that would be fun and I'll put like a bench right here for people to come and sit I thought that would be cool so I'll just start going down here the hydrangeas on the side of the garage are just about done I mean, they're a little bit tired. It's been really humid and hot here. It's beautiful out now, but it's late evening. Here, I'll go back over here to show you some. There's a willow, there's me walking, hello. <laughs> and there's a willow there. And then I have a lilac here next to baby. Then I have a mock orange here, and then another willow here. So now, just to forewarn you, our patio is kind of a mess because Todd and Johnny O are finally putting some steps in, so the patio is quite a mess. So I just wanted to show you basically the daylilies that are in bloom, and the phlox are finally in bloom. So you'll see, <clears throat> excuse me. The flax are in the back there against the garage. And then you have daylilies right in front. I'm trying to go slow so I don't make you sick. And they go down behind the garage. And then these are my favorite, the stargazers. I just love, 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 love them. And they smell so good when I'm sitting out here reading a book um, or whatever, having my tea, when the wind blows, you can smell these. It's, it's glorious. Please forgive the background noise. My neighbors are having a party and they're quite noisy. <laughs> As you can hear, they're crazy. So just try to block them out if you can. Here's some more daylilies here. And then Tracy, I know my friend Tracy, she's a gardener. She wanted to see these. So I wanna show her these lovely yellow ones that I think are just stunning. There's tons of them. I love them. The stevias, or the stevia. The, oh my God, what is that called? What is that called? Salvia. <laughs> I couldn't think of what it was called. The salvia is just about done. But the, the bugs or the, the bees, they like it. So I like to keep it out for them. Got more yellow ones over here. They're really big this year. I like this one though, but it's like a pale. It's really a pale yellow. I think it's so pretty. And then this one's more of like a a darker yellow but it's huge like look at this here's my hand look it's really big and then behind there the knockout roses are starting their second bloom you don't really have to deadhead them but if you do it kind of speeds them up so I was kind of late in deadheading them so they'll be coming back soon and the peonies are all done now, I don't want to trip because I fell today. <laughs> I had a friend over and she wanted to see the garden 
and I wasn't paying attention because I, you know, all this construction stuff. Here's the steps so far that they're doing. They did tracks, the grayest tracks. Sorry, that's my central air unit too, so you're gonna hear background noise there too. And then they're gonna put this white stuff on the riser so we don't have to paint them all the time. So that'll be nice to finally get into the door this way instead of going through the garage that way to get out here. So that'll be nice eventually. So here's more stargazers. Which I just love them. They're so pretty and they're so fragrant. I wish everything in the garden was fragrant. And it's not. I wonder why daylilies don't have scent. I think some do. Some varieties do. But I don't have any varieties that have fragrance to my knowledge. I probably should go around sniffing all of them <laughs> to see. But I have it. Here's another very, um, it's almost like a cream with a little bit of yellow. I should deadhead that guy. Get him off there. Just have to deadhead him to clean him up a little bit. Otherwise it looks kind of messy. Here's a pretty color. Oh, you see the ant in there? <laughs> and then this is like a peachy coral, which I think are just stunning. Very pretty. And then along this back fence over here, God, there's bugs. The bugs are driving me nuts today. Um, anyways, I want to tell you, I fell. I was so embarrassed. I wasn't paying attention and you know the heavy thing the heavy base that you put your umbrella in well it was in like the line of traffic and I didn't know it was there so when I turned around I hit it and I fell right on my face not on my face but I fell right on my knees it scared the heck out of me more than anything but I scraped up my knee good and I thought I hurt myself but it, luckily I didn't but I was so embarrassed God, what a klutz I am. <laughs> so here's some more. They go down the whole way of the fence here. I'll take a quick stroll down. And behind them are hydrangeas, but we don't have many blooms on them yet. And normally I do. And I'm wondering, because see the hydrangeas are back there. So you, you'll see one. See the one purple right there? So there's hydrangeas all the way down. And they're not blooming yet and I'm wondering if because we had a very late winter frost this spring I'm wondering if that would affect or <coughs> excuse me sorry or if it's just because it's just later this year but I don't know so we'll just take a little stroll down so you can see all the daylilies and excuse the weeds because I just haven't you know I can't keep up with all the weeds all the time it's just impossible I mean I work a full-time job <laughs> if I didn't have to work I probably could keep up with them better, but you know, I do the best I can. So here's some more. There's that one hydrangea that I just love. <laughs> I wish the whole thing was in bloom. I'll do another video if they do finally come out to show you how pretty they do get. But the bushes themselves have gotten huge. They've gotten really big, so I'm really pleased about that. So here's a little more coral. And then that burgundy color again, more like a cranberry. This one's more of a burgundy, a little bit darker. Got lots of blooms on this one yet to open, but I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to film to show you. Look at all the blooms that'll be on that one soon because it's supposed to rain here the next couple of days. So I was afraid not to film and then you wouldn't see any. So if, if they come out more, I'll, I'll do another video to show you. Just more laid daylilies and there's a yellow one with like a burgundy center. They call that the eye, is that what they call that? The center part is the, is the eye if I'm not wrong, if I'm not mistaken, I don't remember. Oh, there's bugs. So, then there's more burgundy, more burgundy. Then I have more of like a red one at the end. And it's funny because when I planted these here, I really didn't have any rhyme or reason. I just kind of stuck them wherever. I didn't know what color was, was what, to be honest. So, this is the July, today's what, July 21st? 
This is the July 21st garden tour. Oh, and you know what? Since I'm here, I'm going to show you the memory garden because it needs mulch, but I did get some more corabels in. You'll see here. I got some more corabels here. So we just have to mulch it now to make it look nice. And I did get the stones finally put in. This is Sunny, one of my husband's oops, dear friends that has passed. My friend um, that used to work with me, she's retired now, but she, she makes these stepping stones out of cement. And Jean, that's Todd's mom. And his dad is Ted. And then his grandmother, it's pink, you can't see it good. It's, that's a nanny. And that's my dad's stone there for Rich. And then my godfather, Jimmy. And then over here, I have Matthew who was a little boy who lived in this house before us and he had leukemia and he passed away. So, <sighs> there's a bug <sighs> crawling on me, sorry. So Matthew was a dear, dear boy that we just fell in love with when we were looking at buying this house and we became friends with his mother. So I wanted one for Matthew because this is where he used to play back here in this backyard. More corabels. And more daylilies back here. I'll show you this pretty orange one. I don't have much orange, but look at that color. Well, the sun's gonna give it a glare probably, but it's a beautiful orange color. And then, you believe it? I just did it yesterday and I have to do it again. <laughs> the joys of gardening. Actually, deadheading is kind of therapeutic for me, so. I don't mind it. Weeding can be backbreaking because you're bending over a lot more. But deadheading isn't that bad at all. So, got my little angel here because this is a memory garden. My angel and my angel wings. And I have a little cross thing there and a gazing ball there. Just some little ornamental things. But anyways, I think that's it for today guys. I appreciate you stopping by. Happy gardening and I hope you're well. Take care guys. Thanks. Bye.